carburetor. Um, I've had it all put together for about a month now, but I had some issues with the wiring and I still haven't worked them out completely. Uh, one of the issues was, um, and I, I mentioned it, is uh, um, the coil. I didn't know how to hook it up. I couldn't figure it out on the wiring diagram. It didn't list the coil. It had a magneto. And um, it was like a mystery. <laughs> but basically, how it works is you, you come from the key switch, you know, with, with power. So when your key's on and you have, um, you know, auxiliary turned on with power, it goes to the, um, to the coil pack. And then the other side of the coil, <clears throat> the wire goes over the points. So what happens is when the points close, it completes the circuit, and that's what gives you your spark. But man, I tell you, it took me a while to figure that out. Um, it's pretty simple now, I know, but I just couldn't find it anywhere. And, um, another problem that I was having is um, it all put together, and I had the carburetor all rebuilt. I did it earlier on and painted it and all that, and I put it all back together and hooked the gas up to it, and the thing was leaking like crazy. And I took it apart about half a dozen times. Um, I, you know, checked it. I thought for sure the float was bad. So I got another float for it. And um, I put the float in, and it still leaked. It was leaking right here at the bottom. There's a hole here, like an overflow. In fact, it's a little leaky still. But not bad. The gas is on. It's just a little bit there. But uh, it was running through there, like, like constantly. But, um... Yeah, anyway, what it was is, and I, I got this from Zippo online. He's got a couple of good um, uh, videos on, on carburetors like this. And this jet here, you take this out, and there's a jet that goes right up through the inside of it. You got to make sure that's real tight, because I think the gas that sits in the bowl it'll leak right out of that jet and it'll come down into the bottom of the carburetor and it'll just drip all over the place. But, um, yeah, it looks like I gotta do a little more work to it. But at the time, it's not really leaking, so I think it's fixed. Um, anyway, yeah, I got this new uh, air cleaner thing. I painted it and it came with the decal, put the decal on it. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's it's running. In fact, I can I can probably start it up real quick, just to show you guys that it is running. Let's turn the uh, the fuel on. It should start. I don't know. It's been sitting like this for a while. The ignition is on. Let's pull the choke up. There it goes. I'll just turn it off. Yep, it's running. It needs a little adjusting. But, um, not bad. We had the whole thing torn apart. So it's good to see it's it's good to hear it running. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's it so far. That's all I've really been up to. Um, I got a couple more things I gotta I gotta do. Um, yeah, I gotta I gotta mess with the shifter a little bit. I gotta adjust the shifter knob. It's, the plate is kind of in the way when I put it on. It doesn't seem to. I don't know, I gotta mess around with that a little bit. And uh, I gotta make sure that my my variable speed is is all working too. Um, I'll have to tinker with that a little bit, just get it adjusted right. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much done. I got one other problem I gotta work out with the wiring. I don't believe it's charging. It should go up in the green when it's running and it doesn't. And uh, like I said, the wiring diagram, I just couldn't follow it. It was, it was too, um, it was too hard to read. It wasn't, you couldn't follow the wires and it, was, it wasn't clear. So I found another wiring diagram on, online. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just recheck it. I think I'm missing a wire actually from the generator, from this back to the um, voltage regulator. But I'm not sure. 
I'll mess with it a little bit more. But so it's a uh, it's almost done. All right, well. Thanks for watching.